Guess who's back? Back again. Cody's back. Tell your friends. Okay. Slight change of plans. Hey guys, it's uh, Cody here. Welcome to today's video. Today we're doing a little tractor upgrading of the new feed tractor. So um, on our mixer wagon, we've got two sets of hydraulic hoses. One that runs the door up and down to allow the feed to come out of the mixer. And one runs the auger or the supplies the hydraulic motor that runs the conveyor that brings the feed from the mixer out to the feeder. So that's a great deal except for our little tractor's only got one set of outlets. Come on, get up here. Only got one set of outlets here on the back. So we need to add a set of rear outlets. So we can either go through and do a whole bunch of plumbing on the tractor or I want to show you what we're going to do. So this is what's called a faucet valve. I think that's how you say it, probably not. But so basically what it is, is it's got one set of outlets on the back that'll plug into the existing set and then it turns to two on the front and you've got some electronic solenoids that operate up and down. So when you turn this one on, it opens the valve to this side. When you turn this one on, it opens the valve to this side. And then you can basically make one set of outlets here on the back of the tractor, turn one set of outlets into two. So that's what we're going to be working on today. So come along with us and let's have some fun. Maybe you learned something, maybe I learned something, but let's get started on the assembly of this. First thing we're going to do is let's go look at what we got in our box. All right, y'all. So I'm going to flip you around and show you. I got this adjusted now. So this right here, I needed to adjust this linkage right here. So I still got to tighten these nuts down to set everything, keep it where it's supposed to stay. But what the problem was is it would lock in one direction, but it wouldn't lock in the other direction. So watch this little, watch this guy right here. So as I, what it was doing before was you could uh, push it forward, I think, and it would, it would move that lever up, but then it, when you pull back, it would go to here, but it wouldn't go all the way down. So it wasn't ever opening the valve on the down direction. So by shortening that up, I've got it, got it all working like it's supposed to now. So, all right, next step is to run the wires for the solenoids here and get them mounted up on the fender of the old tractor. So I'll jump up in the cab now. I'm gonna set y'all over here maybe. And we'll decide where we're gonna mount that. Too much stuff over here, I'm tripping all over guys. So, now that we got that kind of situated, here's our, here's our control. So I'm thinking about with this, the way this thing's made, you know, you can loosen these up. You can kind of turn this thing any way you want to. I don't really want to run a bunch of wires inside the fender well because it's a good spot to get it tore up. I think I want to just run them right down here on the inside, but I'm trying to decide, you know, where do I... I like to set... So our cell phones are Bluetooth to the feeder so we can watch the scales. So what I've been doing is just wedging my cell phone down right here and behind a piece of plastic right here and that's a good spot to watch it so I'm thinking probably somewhere right here would be a good you know maybe even right there that thing's already got a spot but one thing I'm not liking is the way those wires are coming out of there because I'd really kind of want to I may have to re I may have to take this off and reroute those wires where they actually come down and let that get behind it that way I can mount that thing. Let's see what that looks like if we do that. Let's just take this guy right here out. Come on out of there. There you go. Now then. Come 
Don't act like that. Come on now. Let it go behind you. There you go. And let you go behind there. There you go. Now then, that kind of gets that guy up there. We're not going to act like this now. I won't allow you to act like that. I don't know. That ain't working like I want it to there. I wonder what Derek would do in this situation. What do y'all think Derek would do from Vice Grip Garage? He'd ask what Dolly Parton's gonna do about it. That's what he would do. I wonder what Dolly Parton wants to do. I wonder what, he ain't never asked what Cody Archie's doing. Kinda hold that against him right now. We mount that, I don't know. What do y'all think about that? Y'all like that or do we want it? Oh, here we go. Here we go. Boy, I tell y'all what, we just figured it out. Who's that? That E Dog? Probably E Dog telling me I'm in trouble about something. Let's see. So let me show you what I'm thinking. Let's turn you around. Set you right here, maybe. So I'm thinking, what do y'all think about this? We run this guy. We can mount that thing right there. Can y'all see that? Maybe right over here somewhere. And then we can tuck those wires up under this guy. And then right over here, let me show you. We tuck it right up. We're going to put this guy right here, I think. And we're going to tuck those wires up right under that seam, run it around right here, and then look at this. Booyah Kasha. See that hole right there? We're probably going to have to make that a little bit bigger because this thing's got these ends right here on it. Turn around here. You see it's got these ends right here on it? So they won't go through that hole, I don't think. But that's, that's what I'm thinking is going to be the best option. What do y'all think? Let me know in the comments. When you get to the end of the video, you'll know what I did. I'm back, guys and gals. So let me show you where we're at now. So back here, I got the hole drilled. Let me, let me do this. Got the hole drilled, and I put in a rubber grommet there to make it where the wire don't get messed up. Now... I'm going to mount this box up here, so I've got it pulled off just so I can kind of play. I want to hold it and see. Um, that's going to come up from this direction. I'm going to mount this. I took this little screw deals out of it, so once I get it where I want it, I can just... That looks pretty good right there. That's kind of out of the way. I like that. It's out of the way. You're not going to whack it. Might come back here even a little bit further. So it's by this a little bit more. I think about right there. We're just going to come down about an eighth of an inch or maybe even just stay level with that. Yeah. Maybe come down about an eighth of an inch right there. Let's put that guy right about there. That's going to be good. Use my old silver pencil there. Marked it. So right here is where my bracket's going to go. I'm going to drill me a couple holes, kind of center them a little bit. That way you got a little side to side action of this guy when it's mounted if you need to move it any. And then we'll 
get it bolted in and then all that'll be left will be to run a, a hot wire that'll power this thing. Run a little hot wire under there that'll power this baby so that it'll, when you give it the old you know, you'll know which one that it's running. So, I'm gonna grab a drill. I'm gonna see what connecting hardware they sent with it. And I'm trying to decide whether I'm not just gonna, you know, I might just run a couple of self-tapping screws through it and be done with it. I can't tell if that's plastic or metal. It's metal. Um, a couple of self-tapping screws in it and call it good. Or if they've got some little bolts, I might do that, but self-tapping screws would be so much easier. What do y'all think? Let's go see what they sent, and then we'll pick up and go from there. One thing about today, though, is it is very mild. The sun's not out. Lots of lots of clouds. Um, we've had a pretty eventful day already. We had two ewes that were lambing. We had to pull one lamb. I didn't get any video of that because we, it was kind of a like dire. We had to get to it quick and get it done. We didn't have time to, and we didn't have the cameras with us, so we had to catch her in the pasture and clunt punch and Clancy had to hold her and then I had to pull her up. It was in there pretty tight. His, his shoulders was pretty big. I had to sit down on the ground and grab him by both front legs and put my feet up against the back of her legs to pull it out. And uh, But we got it out and I'm watching her right now. I'm watching the lamb. He's jumping and playing around. So I feel like he's got up and got his colostrum. And uh, she hasn't left him yet, so that's good. She's a, that's her first time having a lamb, so he's jumping and bucking and playing, and she's laying there like, dude, I went through a traumatic experience, and you want to play? But she's been a good mama so far. And then uh, the other one, she's she's done had a few lambs, so she's got hers up and going pretty quick. Had it on her own, didn't have any trouble. So, um, all right, well, Erica's over there planting the garden. I'm sure she's making a video. I can hear her talking. Either that or she's talking to herself. I don't know. Um, so I want to jump down and get whatever tools I need to get this going, and then we'll get it mounted up. Well, guys, I'm not real sure why the old camera died or stopped. It's got plenty of battery life in it, but um, we are making some headway. We got our we got our switch mounted right here. Come on now. Got her mounted. Now all we got to do is decide how we're going to run our power. Which direction are we going to run it? Now I could just go on out the back back there with the wire that goes to the solenoid and then come under the cab over here like I did when I brought the power for the scales. And I think that's probably the best option because I don't want to. I don't want a wire exposed out here everywhere, coming down. But if I oh wrong way. So what I'm talking about is, is I could route that power wire here. I could go in here, this hole, but that goes into the fender, and I don't want it in there where it might get, you know, if we get bogged in some mud or something, I don't want to rip that power loose. I could just bring it right down the edge of this fender here and go down because my battery's right here underneath my foot, but I don't like that idea either because it just don't, I just don't like that. So I think what I'm going to do is this. I'm going to run me another hot wire from here and put a plug on the end of it underneath the, the tractor here. And then I'm going to run that out through that same hole with the rest of the wires and put a plug on it, a, we a weatherproof plug, because I've got to put a, a fuse in it anyways, and I can put the fuse back there. Then, if I ever need to take that out, I can just disconnect the plug and it's it's loose. I don't. It, it it'll be an easy change instead of having to trace it all the way back up here to the battery, the battery. So what do y'all think? That's what we're gonna do. 
Let's see. All right. What we got going on in here? Get out of the way there. That was my light. You've done your job. You can step aside now. I like that. I like that. There we go. Now then, I'm going to come around here. Probably. Man, I don't know if I like that. I might better. I might like that better if I come. Let me show you what I'm thinking. So here's what I'm thinking. I've got these little guys. It's just a little two-wire weatherproof splice. I'm going to put one on here. And then I'm going to take the other end and run me a hot wire pretty kind of close to this bracket that we put on for the scales and run it up there. I can chase it back to the same spot just about. But I'm thinking, now I'm thinking that I don't know, I don't really want to run through up here because I got to come out and come around the cab and come back down if I'd have just... Put me some of them little deals that hold your wires, you know, them little. I know I got a pile of them somewhere. I'm gonna go find them and I'll come back and show you. Guess who's back? Back again. Cody's back. Tell your friends. Okay, slight change of plans. So, when we had this wire running through here and we had that hole drilled with, that we put the grommet in, I didn't like that because once you got outside, it was still kind of by the tire. I'm like, I don't really want that. And the only way to really kind of get it back up and hit it out was to run it kind of back into the cab. So let me show you the modification I made. So first things first, I went and I put some, some of that sleeve on it. And I run it over here. I made this corner and that thing just pushed right up into that little crack. I mean, it's in there tight. I don't think it's going to come out. I made this bend right here and then I put one of these little deals on there and then I come down and then right here it got kind of big and that's because I had to double up the extra wire that runs to the solenoids. So I did that and put another piece of stuff on it and I attached it here and here and then this hole here was already existing so I just dropped it down through there. So I like that a lot better. Plus, plus, I think this winter um maybe even this summer depending on how much how dusty it is when we're trying to feed we may end up coming in here with some like some plexiglass on the cab here on the back on three sides just from from this post back and then across the back so that they're not blowing that dust on you the whole time but you still have this all this open up here so um that'll keep all of these wires out of the way and then it'll be real easy if you want to unhook it you just unhook it and pull these three screws out and you're done. So, like that a lot better, guys. All right, well, uh, all that's left now is running a hot wire. Let me see if I can set y'all down right here. All that's left now is running the hot wire up there to the battery, putting the fuse in it, and then we're, we'll be ready to test. Oh, here old E-Dog. This thing right here has got to go. This thing is just, this sleeve on here is just keeping that thing from moving like I want it to. This old, because it's just dry rotted. It's just, just being junk, what it's just being, yeah. So let's see if we can't just take this old utility knife right there. That helped that side, I bet you. What's up, E Dog? Oh, yeah.
running like I ought to now. What's up, e dog? You moving your birds out? Hang on. So e dog over here going to put her her little chickens she's had hatched out in the in the house there. She's moving them outside. They don't have to fend for themselves, guys. She's gonna put them in the barn. They can't hear you. All right, I'm gonna finish trimming this while I'm here. Cause like, why not? I mean, it ain't like I got anything else I need to be doing besides trimming this old. This stuff is so dry rotted, guys. I mean, this is supposed to be a flexible rubber boot, uh, boot and it is not being very flexible i should have just probably just pulled it off pulled it out instead of cutting it but that's about the third time i dropped that sucker my marking pen there look like a real good way to get your finger cut jacking with this thing to me there we go. Oh, yeah. That shaft might need a little hang right there. I don't know. The back, pulling it back, it works good. Pushing it forward, it don't really. It's got a little hang coming back. I need to look at that. All right, let's go get some. Let's go get some wiring done. Yeah. Erica had an opportunity to assist me, and I don't know if she got it on video or not. So, but we got everything hooked up. Got the switch over here. Look, y'all see the light light up? Boom! Tells you which one's which. I don't know what this does. Oh, maybe that runs them both at the same time. I don't know. I don't know what that does. I'll figure that out. But first, we're gonna get hooked up and see if it works. Guys, I'm really liking this little tractor. I mean, it's not... It's not pretty by any means. It's got some leaks. But, I'm really liking it so far. all over you. I just told, let me see it. I'll pull it. Oh, you got it out. All right. All right. Okay, I'll get that on. Go, that we got. We got a rag. I don't know if you did or not. All right, let's get this thing hooked up and then we're gonna test it out. Okay, guys. If everything, huh? Well, we can watch right there first. If everything works right, when I turn this on and I pull my lever, nothing should work. We'll see.
Which one did that go? And it works. Eureka. So back is up. Oh no. Back is the door is up or down. I probably need to switch those because now I'll push it down into the ground, pull it up. And then 